this is a first for me this is a smart watch well hopefully anyway it feels quite light so i imagine it probably is it costs around about 24 to 25 pound on amazon and as always i will stick a link in the video description so with that i'll open them up and then we'll tell you all about it Crikey, very small. Let's have a quick look around the box. So it tells you the name of the company, Bingo Fit. A bit of information on the bottom, it's upside down. Scan with transparency app, that's what it says there, and a little Q code. Nothing on the sides. Contact us, so different emails depending on what country you're in. And two Q codes, one for Facebook and one for YouTube. Hopefully it's either a training video or it's just probably a advert of some sort about the product so with that we'll do the unboxing and see what you get for your money so it's not sealed if it has in there what's this right quick guide so it has a quick guide and shows you different colours of what you could buy. And I do believe there's five colours on Amazon. So they must have updated it sometime. And it says up here, learn more for detailed user manual or technician support. Please visit bingofit.com. And then in a different language there. It's not waterproof by looking at that. So don't use it in the shower or bath or go swimming with it on. And then box content. So it comes in three pieces. To remove the strap, it shows you how to remove the strap, which I'm going to uh, have to have a quick read up on. To charge and to start. And you need an app, so it says download CC band, and which I will do. And obviously register and set it all up. So with that, let's have a look at the device itself. So it's got a little cover on it. Feels like normal sort of plastic strappy sort of uh, watch i'm going to quickly try it on it's not actually for me it's actually a gift for someone else so that way around i would imagine i've got quite big wrists so if it fits me it should fit most normal people oh yeah it does and i believe it will fit a child as well yeah, looks all right doesn't it pretty good it's quite safe, doesn't feel as though it's going to fall off. So, I'm going to have a quick read of the uh, instructions and then figure out how to uh, charge it up. Right, so I've had a read of the instructions and basically you've got to pull one of these off. I'm not sure which one, but you can pull both off. I'm going to do this one first. And you don't just pull it off straight, you have to twist it to get it off. Oh, there's one. Oh, the right one. So, the one with the uh, little brass connections on the bottom or the gold connections. The other one that apparently is just a plain one. We will find out. Okay. All right, see. And that goes into a USB charger. I have one right here just to test it. And oh, let me take this thing off. Put it out there. And that bit in there goes into there. Oh, yeah, it works. Look, it's charging up. Well, that's quite easy. Apparently, if it doesn't work, you've got it in man the wrong way. So if it put in that way, it shouldn't work. Let's come on. It shouldn't work. That'll go off in a second. There you go. So it shouldn't go in there. It doesn't. Yeah, see, it's not charging up. Charging up that way. Perfect. Right, so I'm going to give it a bit of a charge up, and I'll come back to it. Right, so I gave it 10 minutes. I didn't want to give it too long. So it should be charged up. Or should be enough. Oh, it goes that way, I think, doesn't it? Plug that back in. That's in. That was quite easy. I'm not sure how long the full charge would take, but we're just trying it out. So now we need to uh, connect it to my app. Right, CC band. Uh Right, what to do? I'll take it as this. I'm only guessing. Tap on that. Oh, it's found it straight away. Look at that. Cool, that's quick. I'm assuming that's it. It's 
Do we just move it up or swipe it or anything? Device available for connection. Connected devices. Oh, it's connected. Really? Oh, it's showing the battery. Look, it is connected. Jesus, that was really quick. Oh, that's flashing. Oh, look, it's showing my pulse. Let's put it on. I can't believe that connected that quick. That was well fast. Right. I am going to have a little play about it and uh, see how I get on. Right, so I've had me a little play about it, and yeah, it is really easy to use. I went to their website because obviously it didn't have very good instructions that came with the packaging. So I went to their website, found the instructions, and they're nicely laid out, easy to understand, and yeah, it works perfectly. I say perfectly, I don't know how accurate the steps are, uh, because I haven't really tested it. I don't expect it to be that accurate. You know, for £25, it's not going to be perfect. But it tells the time, it looks nice, and you can monitor your heart rate as well. Beats per minute, which is easy. All you have to do is press start on now, and it will start monitoring. Or just go to the option on here, and it will start monitoring your heart. Navigation on here was extremely easy. I've actually changed the clock face, as you can see. So it now shows the time, my heart rate, and the day, and what day it is, Sunday. Yeah, I'm working on Sunday. It shows you everything you need it to show you, which is really good. And if you want to go and change any of the settings, that was just as easy as well. Obviously, I had to go to the website, like I said, and basically go to this section here. Get back there. Hold it down for a couple of seconds. Get there. This, this is quite clever. So, if, say for instance, I've done where I put my phone. I can press this button. Press it down again twice, and it sends a signal to your phone. Well, where's my phone? I've lost it. I've lost my phone. Hang on. Oh, there it is. So that's really clever. So it sends a little signal. You can turn it off by holding it down a couple of seconds, and that's turned off now. And if you want to go into this one, this is your clock faces. So if you want to change your clock face, you just go to here. And you can scroll through, and when you find one you like, battery's running out. When you find one you like, like even a clock one, and I'm going back to this one here. I like this one. Hold it down for a couple of seconds, and that's it. That's all set. And then you've got your Bluetooth settings, and uh, reset, and turn it off. So yeah, very pleased. Yeah. So does it get my thumbs up? Yes, it does. For £25, I didn't think it was a lot of money, and for that kind of money, I wasn't expecting it to be fantastic, but I think it's better than I thought it was going to be. It's definitely better than I thought it was going to be. So it definitely gets my thumbs up. I'm definitely impressed with it, like it. Like I said, I'm not sure how accurate it is, but if you want something that looks pretty nice, it's easy to put on as well. Uh, bearing in mind, I haven't worn a watch for quite a while now. It's easy to put on comes up and shows you everything you need to do nice and clearly with loads of other little functions all right it's not a watch it's a smart watch steps heart rate exercise yeah very pleased i like it definitely gets my thumbs up and if this video gets your thumbs up give me the thumbs up if it didn't give me the thumbs down and uh, please subscribe thank you very much for watching